What's up, Pack members? It's your Spirit the Alpha here, and welcome to our next Dark Souls Remastered Let's Play video. In the last episode, we took on the Four Kings, and we actually did relatively well. I mean, we've killed up to like like two out of four kings. Well, I say four kings, like I said before, there can be more than four kings. But yeah. So pretty much the problem with the last episode is I got a little bit greedy. I mean, I, you know, I took a hit, I killed the second four king, or the second king because, you know, he was low in health, just need one more hit. But, and then I tried to heal, but another king slashed me. I should have actually probably tried to heal, like, actually, you know, snuck around him, you know, snuck around the king I was trying to kill, healed up, and then killed the king, so, you know, I'd have enough health in case I, you know, did get hit by that king, so, yeah. But honestly, I think we're in a pretty good place, I mean, as long as I can maybe properly avoid the grabs, which I don't know how I avoid the grab. Uh, at one point, but yeah, that's one, and as long as they don't spam the AOE explosion, then that should be okay too. So yeah, uh, in all honesty, you want them to do their slashes, you don't want them to do an AOE explosion or grab. And it's like I said before, how to tell the difference between the explosion and the grab? If the king spins around and turns purple, that's going to be an AOE explosion. If the king just spins around, then that's going to be a grab. Pretty easy, really. And into the abyss we go. And we're going to look at the souls, because the king always has a tendency to spawn right where my soul is. See? That's so weird. Alright. Oh, explosion right at the bat. Never go go. King has spawned in by now. Yeah, I think it has. You see, in all honesty, it's not a too hard boss fight. It's just a matter of, you know, killing the kings fast enough. That's one of them. Alright, that's where that king went. Okay. Um, more things are coming over. I just wanted to get off, get some distance and heal. There we go. Spawning in. And yeah, just try to, um, you know. So don't get greedy, but definitely do what you need to. Oh gosh. Alright, now can you get it? Okay, like that. Alright, AOE explosion? Yep. Okay. So where's the narrow four king? Okay, let's focus on this one, I think. Yeah. Alright, this is a good one.
Okay, I'm gonna back up again now. Oh gosh, this might not end well. Roll, roll, roll. All right. Okay, fine. You want to fight then, Mr. Forking? Okay. Yeah. Okay. The the whole thing saved me actually. Weird, but okay. Oh god. Did not see that. I don't know which king to go after. Okay. But I got overwhelming, as you can see. But that's okay. Now, it's like I said before, though, unlike Calamity and Manus, the four kings are not optional. You gotta kill them, so this might be a bit of a struggle. And also, if I can't manage to defeat them on my third video attempt, then I am just going to delete that video file and try again because I don't want to spend like, I don't know how many episodes trying to kill one boss. So, yeah. But overall, you see, it's not too bad. I mean, as long as, you know, they don't do the AOE explosion so much and as long as you heal while you can, Took a little chip damage, that's okay. <clears throat> and another thing that I should mention about the grabs, I mentioned this before, but they can actually steal humanity. And don't think it's like the souls where you can just grab your souls and they'll, you know, respawn or you'll get your humanity back. This one, apparently, as far as I've seen, they'll actually just take your humanity that's gone forever. I mean, if you have humanity in your gauge, that is. If it's in your items, you're okay. Of course, I'm about maxed out on humanity, I think. So, yeah. Down there. So, in all honesty, if I wanted to use humanity, I could. I mean, there is a summon for this boss. But, as far as I've heard, she's not useful. Like, she just doesn't do enough damage, and... And apparently you do, and or, well, obviously you do not want to face the four kings of added health because you know, because then you'll probably be, you're struggling to well get a king dead. So yeah, I'm just gonna go and head on over to my souls, and that worked out perfectly. Uh, I tried to dodge. I don't think I did it good. I don't think I did it soon enough. But I'll say that's okay. Right? Yo. Take a whack. Oh, Narcan spawned in. So you just hug that boss body. I'm gonna heal up here, yeah. Alright, that's one. I'm gonna 
put on my shoe just for safe, safe, safety, whatever you want to say. Yeah, I got you dodged it. Go away. two more good attempts, which I think so. But as you can see, it's kind of a weird tendency that I have like, to just go for my souls or walk towards my souls because a king will spawn there. It's weird. It's like wherever my souls land, and the king first king spawn in and is not far. Like, what are the odds? I mean, I don't know if that's actually confirmed or not, but it's a weird theory I have that it just always does that. So, yeah, at least I have a little bit of preference to know where the first king will spawn. I took a little trip damage, but that's okay. Hold on my shoe when going past the darker. In this case, if they do hit me, I won't take as much damage. But anyway, now we're gonna into the abyss we go. So where's my souls? Okay, I'm gonna head over there. Yep. Well, it's not far from my souls, at least. Alright. 
Because honestly, this here is in fact the last boss that stands between me and the final boss. So yeah. Because there's no other bosses in this game. We, we killed all the main game bosses. Well, except for this one, of course. We killed all the DLC bosses, all four of them. We killed the optional bosses like Stray Demon, Cross Street Priscilla, and Dark Sun Gwendolyn. And I'm trying to think if there was any other fun, or optional boss. I don't think there was. The Hydra didn't really count as a boss. That was more of a mini boss, they say. So technically you don't have to beat the Hydra, but if you want access to DLC, then yeah. Dark Reef. still clip you, but it shouldn't be too bad. If you hug that body well, then you should be fine. Alright, that's one king. that it will delay your time you're trying to kill him so yeah what the so much damage in one go see okay yeah, i am distance aren't i well i'm dead okay well that was a shame anyway that's the wrap right for this video, so tune for the next one and we will attempt the four kings yet again. So see you guys back in the pack.